Hey everyone, we are about to do a fun little science experiment that um, has to do um, with milk and kind of creating art with milk. Uh, right now I'm about to draw a picture to kind of illustrate the materials that we're going to use and then we'll, I'll show you what's going to happen during the lab. So here we go. Okay, so as you can see from my drawing, I have a bowl, and poured inside the bowl there is milk, which is a white colored liquid. There are different types of milk, skim milk, 1%, 2%, whole milk, buttermilk, half and half, um, but the milk that I'm going to be using today is 1%. Now the fat content that is inside milk has different types of measurements. 2% um, whole milk, buttermilk, those have a lot, a lot of fat particles in the milk, but with 1% um, or even skim milk, very little to no fat particles in mixed in the milk. With this experiment, you can um, try it out with different types of milk, but the more fat that you have in the milk, the better you're going to be able to see this milk art. So, um, again, I'm using 1%, but it might work better with 2% or even whole milk. So, on top of the milk, um, those fats kind of lay like in a layer, like a blanket. We call that kind of the surface tension, a big word, big word uh, in science. But on top of the milk, I'm going to drop different colors of food coloring. Food coloring usually comes in blue, red, green, yellow. Uh, but you can get different colors, and you use those um, to color food, sometimes cakes or cupcakes. Um, you see them used a lot in bakeries, but I'm going to drip different colors of the food coloring on top of the milk, and they're going to kind of sit on top of that milk because of the surface tension. Then I'm going to grab a Q-tip, and I'm going to dip the Q-tip in um, some green liquid um, dish soap that I have. You can also try this experiment with different soaps that you have. See if different soaps um, show different ways of, of this milk art. But I'm going to have a Q-tip with soap on the end. You can even use a toothpick if you want, I suppose. And then I'm going to dip my Q-tip with the soap into the milk. And we're going to see what that looks like and what happens and what kind of reaction it, it has. Now, as you can see up here, um, I had mentioned that milk has fat in it, along with minerals and vitamins and, and other types of um, items within milk. But those fats kind of are linked together, almost as if they're, they're holding hands. And so when you pour the milk, all the fat kind of stays together um, next to each other. There's, there's a bond, a connection with the fat and the fat and the fat and the fat. However, when the soap meets or connects or gets dipped into the milk, a reaction happens. And just like when you wash dishes or wash your dirty hands at home, the purpose of soap is to break up grease and fat and oils so that they are no longer connected so that they can come off of dishes or, or oils or dirts or um, fats can come off your hands and that's the purpose of soap. So um, those fat pieces within the milk get separated and that's what we're going to see with this little experiment. So I hope you like it. Okay, so here is my setup. I have my dish soap over here. It's green in color. I'm going to pour a little bit more into my dish. Here is my milk. And I actually have two plates that I'm going to pour milk into. One right here. 
I'm going to pour enough milk just to cover the bowl, not any higher. I don't want too much milk spilling around when I go to clean up after the lab is done. And then back here, I know I said milk, but you know what? I actually want to try with vegetable oil. So I have my container of vegetable oil right here. And even though on the bottle it looks kind of clear, when I pour it on the plate, It's kind of clear, kind of yellow. Um, so those are the items I'm working with. Now over here in this plate, I'm going to put some red. Again, you see how that food coloring is staying in place because of that surface tension. I'm also going to put some red in the oil. In the Vegetable oil plate is honestly, it's just for me and my thought process. I'm so curious to see if in fact it's going to do the same thing. Maybe it'll look a little bit different, but since the soap is working to break up those fat bonds, I am curious to see if it would break up the oil bonds within the actual vegetable oil. So, again, I'm just spreading single drops of food coloring in the plates of either milk or vegetable oil. Okay. Now, I have Q-tips. You might call these cotton swabs or cotton applicators, but sometimes with Q-tips you'll find cotton on both ends. I'm just going to dab it into my container of dish soap, like so. So I have about that much. And then over here, you know what? I'm just going to place it in there and see what happens. Whoa. Did you see that reaction? They're kind of just dancing around. They kind of moved and separated away from the dish soap. Now over here in the oil plate, I put it in there nothing happens. What if I put it straight into the food coloring spot? Would anything happen? Hmm. I don't really see a reaction. So maybe it doesn't work quite that well with oil. Maybe there needs to be less oil in the plate versus a whole plateful. Now I'm going to get another Q-tip and I'm going to just dab it. Oh, that kind of dripped from my Q-tip because I had a lot of soap on it. But I'm just going to place it randomly and we're going to watch the fats in the milk separate. And you're able to see this reaction because of the food coloring that's in the plate. If the food coloring wasn't there, we wouldn't have a visual of the milk um, kind of dancing around and separating. But with the food coloring there, it definitely helps us have that visual. As you can see, they're still kind of moving around. I'm going to pick up this one and I'm going to play with it a little bit. Whoa, I picked it up and it just moved on its own. Whoa. Again, I'm just barely touching the surface of the milk over here. 
and it's dancing around. It's doing gymnastics all over the place. Let's get a close-up. So here I have some different dishes. I have a Tupperware bowl, a tin, um, a foil pan, and then a styrofoam um, little plate. So it doesn't necessarily have to be a bowl, just something with high ridges that will make sure that the milk doesn't spill out. And when I pour the milk in, I don't have to fill it all the way, I just need to make sure that I can't uh, see the bottom anymore. So let me just get my other milk container open and then I'll put some milk in these containers as well. Okay. Now I have my food coloring right over here. 